Okay, a couple things here. That's the reason I used the circle cutter. So now I have a line to go to. I've got to get rid of all that. And I saved the cutoff. So now I've got a secure hold on this. I've got to come out here. I've got to work on this eye socket. There's a big cavity behind the eye socket. Big cavity behind the eye socket. And this part I'm going to take off, but I'm going to put the upper eyelid, upper eye hole in this area. It's not a circle, but I'm going to cut a circle. So um, that's what I'm going to work on now. That one, that's one and a half, or that's one times my phone uh, height sideways or something that's why that's where I got the height I want to do a quick check for symmetry. I'm very concerned about keeping this symmetrical. So I have a little plexiglass here. And I'll make a little outline. I have a hole in the uh, right side here corresponding to that horn so when I pick this up to make sure it's symmetrical I need to make sure the hole is on the opposite side all right so that helps a lot so I need to take some off here the eye sockets are actually pretty good Overall, I'm very pleased with it. All right, keeping with my plan of finishing one section at a time, I've put the horns back on so I can fix this transition here. I'm thinking I'll put some rope right here around this transition uh, because that looked cool. for symmetry once again. It's getting serious here. I've got to place these eyes. Symmetry up top is beautiful. There's nothing square anymore, so it's kind of hard. This side is negative, so I've got to take some more off of here.
this edge was raised up a little bit after the I glued it so there's some hot glue in here that I've got to get out or it'll break there we go Oh, Woohoo! There it is. Got to be careful with that. I think I'll put a little. Uh, I think I'll put a little CA on that because I don't want to lose that. Anyway. <laughs> 